everybody. I'm Nai and I'm part of the sales team here at Royal Kingdom Estates. Hello, the name is Khadija, as you all know, and I'm also part of the sales team at Royal Kingdom Estate. And today we are going to talk about the factors to look out for, in fact, very, very important factors to look out for when purchasing land in Ghana. As we all know, land is a very high um, commodity and you want to take your time and be patient, do all your due diligence before you go in purchasing land because land also has proven to be the highest form of wealth creation in Ghana and you want to, you know, be very sure about it before you purchase in your land, am I right? You are absolutely correct <laughs> because buying land here, this is a really important topic because it is important for us to know kind of what the different things are and things to look out for and be aware of when purchasing land here in Ghana. Especially for those of us that are coming back, such as myself, <laughs> you need to know the various factors. And with starting with consulting a lawyer and having a legal eagle by your side is really important when you're purchasing a land here in Ghana. They can help make sure and help you navigate the different legalities with your purchase to make sure that it is legally sound. They can help with documentation, with agreements, with contracts and various things that require a lot of legal jargon that you may not understand so guys having a lawyer is almost like your right arm right? would you say exactly it's, yes it's, in fact it's your bedrock of you know um, land issues when it comes to Ghana. it is so it's important to have that lawyer by your side on this channel, we can't stress that enough. Location, location, location is important to your land buying experience here in Ghana. You want to make sure that you are around different type of amenities such as schools, hospital, transportation, markets. You want to make sure that you are there centrally located in the cut where you and your family can enjoy your land to the fullest. That's why here at Royal Kingdom Estates, we pride ourselves in finding strategic lands where our communities are, where you can have the best possible experience that you and your family can enjoy for generations to come, such as our very own Gray City, The View, and Black Star Village. Those lands have different access roads and different amenities for you and your family to enjoy for years to come. Isn't that right, Khadija? <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and you should be with us. That's just by the way. <laughs> anyway, I'm moving on to the next point that is zoning regulations in Ghana. As you may know it, in Ghana, we have different types of zoning regulations. You have to look out for your visit the town and country planning department to be sure that the land that you're buying is either government vested land, which have been demarcated for certain government developmental projects. You have to be sure if it is an industrial land, if it is a residential land, or is mapped out for, for certain development so that you would find yourself uh, in the future where your, your your property is going to be demolished at the end of the day after right. spending so much money on that particular land so you have to look out for all the zoning locations especially at the land um, commission department you look out for the pvlmd that is public vested land department in ghana to be sure that that particular land is not government vested or mapped out for certain developmental projects so that you can be free from all those issues and have your I mean, you're free um, mind to operate and build your project. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true, Khadija. It really is. Guys, if you're buying a land, make sure you visit the site. Get to know the type of land it is, you know, with your surveyors or, I mean, your building um, team and whatever. All those uh, technical people should be on site for them to assess the land and be sure that this particular land is devoid of um, earthquakes, um, flood. Is it clay? Because it's not every type of land that you can actually build on and even if you build on it it requires certain you know very strong foundations to come up with to hold your building so you have to look at the physical nature of the land very very important because in the future you want to avoid your building cracking right. and all that and that is why I mean Royal Kingdom Estate we are very very particular about location because we want to give our clients the best we want you to be free to have your building and avoid any uncertainty in the future <laughs> that's right? very true because I've even seen it myself where people they don't really think about the physical you know characteristics of the land right. like I mean let's say you want to start a farm on your land what mm -hmm. if it's waterlogged you didn't know that or you would 
ignored it. So I mean, you can't really get the value out of your land that you maybe wanted to get out of. So that's very important, Khadija. Right, right. Then another thing to look out for is a, and getting a land surveyor. Uh, considering a land surveyor, you have to have a land surveyor, guys. Because a land surveyor, we would call them almost like land surgeons. Mm -hmm. They are able to define the boundaries of your land. So you'll be able, you won't have any disputes with any neighbors. It can really cause some things that, you know, cannot be too favorable for you. So it's important to have a land surveyor. To map out your land, you can have your certain boundaries there so you can avoid any legal disputes and anything that could possibly be a little hindrance down the line. Of course, mm. and adding to that, at the Lands Commission, there's a department called the SMD. That is the Surveying Mapping Department. That is where you actually go and run a search on the type of land as um, now I just spell it out. And that brings me to my next point about encumbrances on land. You know, we have to, you have to be very, very careful that you don't encounter any encumbrances on the land that you are purchasing. You know, you have to look out for mortgages, you have to look out for covenant restrictions, you have to look out for all these things to be sure that, you know, it's even litigation free because you want to stay on a land where um, there's no any sort of dispute on the land that you are purchasing at the end of the day so guys you have to look out for all these pointers when you're purchasing land in Ghana <laughs> <laughs> you really do these are points that are absolutely pertinent and coming to the next one with title understand the title of the land that you are getting with freehold titles it has been abolished yes. am I correct in yes Ghana? with the 2020 act mm. land in Ghana has been abolished now we don't have freehold land Yay. in Ghana <laughs> there's no more freehold so a lot of the lands now are leasehold and for non and such as myself with leasehold lands it's normally about 50 years that you can have um, a land and for of course Ghanaians it's 99 years mm -hmm. so it's important to know which one that you have and like say for people who are coming here from the diaspora my brothers and sisters learning you will have 50 years but you can always get it renewed like yeah. for yeah, your successors if you were to pass away for your kids so you guys can enjoy the land for future generations to come. <laughs> exactly that mm. is why I kept stressing about the documentation because yes. at Royal Kingdom Estate as lessors we make you know that this is the number of years that are allocated to you so you can completely understand that you have 50 years or you have 90 years mm. at the end of the day and also know the date you are supposed to renew your land and you know that brings us to the point of documentation as she said you need a legal practitioner to take you through all the legalities of documentation and it's very very important that when you're buying land you go through the process in acquiring all those necessary documentation and at RKE we pride ourselves when it comes to documentation because we know that you our clients are our most priority and we want to instill trust and value when you're purchasing our land so you might want to look out for a contract of sale or a purchase agreement because the purchase agreement actually gives you the information that you need about the land that you are buying the agreements that you are going into with your lessor and you understand the number of years that are actually i mean allocated to you and the date of renewal as well so we make it super easy especially at rke it doesn't matter if you're out there because we're going to send it to you via mail to sign and then we will go through the due processes as much as possible also you want to look out for your indenture in Ghana, we have two types of possession. That is the legal possession and the physical possession. And the indenture signifies the legal possession. It gives you a history about the land that you are purchasing. Because in Ghana, you know that about 80% of our land are customary lands, or the school lands, or the clan lands, or name it. So you, it will give you the history of the land, where it came from, and you know, you that you're buying it also your name will be amended on that indenture to show that you actually purchased the land and it's more like your ticket exactly. to the land, right? It's like your golden ticket, right? All my Willy Wonka fans out there will know what I'm talking about. It's exactly. your golden ticket. So indenture is very, very important as part of your land documentation and you need to have it, right? You do. That's really, really important. I would say proper documentation is almost like the foundation uh -huh. of your land buying experience here in Ghana. When you have proper documentation, 
believe me you will be okay so guys these are a few tips and important pointers that we have for you today right? oh <laughs> yes thank you so much thank you guys so much for tuning in and please don't forget to like comment subscribe and please share this information with others everyone see you next time bye bye, bye. <laughs>